Hi, my name is Sarah. Hi, I'm Sangi. Hello, my name is Nima. And we are here at the Pashupatina UNESCO World Heritage Protected Site today. And we're going to tell you a little bit about Lotus Sky and what makes this unique. One thing that makes Lotus Sky unique is that we have been from the beginning and continue to be Nepal's only 100% women run and operated role on bracelet company. Lotus Sky version 1 actually started back in 2012. Um, it was myself and four Tibetan refugee women. We opened our first store in Bodhnath, Kathmandu, right on the stupa, and opened our second shop about one year later. There's a lot of buzz on social media with women's empowerment, fair trade. What does that actually mean in practice? What does it look like on the ground? At Lotus Sky, what it actually means is hiring women for every single position for which they're qualified, which, as it turns out, are all of them. So at Lotus Sky, everything is handled by women. Our crocheting, our designing, photography, marketing, social media, and training. What is a new fair trade movement? Fair trade was great. It set a minimum threshold for income for artisans in developing countries. But what we really need now is more. And Lotus Sky, we talk about a savable wage or an investable wage. An investable wage allows artisans, workers, to save at least 50% of their income. So it goes beyond the model of a living wage that supposes that you just have enough to cover basic expenses and stay where you're at. And demands that artisans deserve to be able to put money in the bank, to be able to save and invest and really plan for futures and impact the next generation. It wasn't until after the earthquake in 2015 that we decided to focus so extensively on these beadwork roll and bracelets. We um, were outside living in tent camps amidst the rolling aftershocks and there were a lot of women, displaced women coming in from the villages. We cut apart our existing bracelets, took the beads off, and we started training programs in the tent camps. And during that time, which was about a six month window, we quadrupled the number of women on the Lotus Sky team. Moving forward, I see such a bright future ahead for us. Our aim um, for 2019 is to train 20 new women each quarter and women who have been with us for several years actually serve as the peer mentors and teachers for these training groups. We'll continue to push ourselves on our pattern perfection, our standardized sizing, our consistency, our control, and best of all, our designs, because that's what really sets us apart. The future is pretty much limitless.